it's not a game, it's a rich thing. We're at the String Lake Trailhead outside of Jackson Hole, Wyoming in Grand Teton National Park. This morning we are going to uh, hike up Paintbrush Canyon and uh, we're going to go past Holly Lake. See if we can get to the, get to the divide which is 10,700 feet. Uh, then depending on how it goes, if all goes well we might head down to Lake Solitude and come out Cascade Canyon uh, back to this trailhead. Uh, been a lot of bear activity too, so we're prepared for that hopefully, and uh, we'll see uh, how it goes today. Tetons in the morning. This is String Lake, the base of the Tetons. So we're about a mile and a half in and Kim says, sweet, we got this. We only got 17.2 more miles. Kim's confident with her bear spray in hand. <laughs> uh, but we're going to take the trail that goes left up to uh, Paintbrush Canyon here. So we've come up 5.7 miles. We got 13.9 miles back to the trailhead. 2.2 to Paintbrush Divide and 4.6 to Lake Solitude. So we're beginning to see where we're going to be able to cross uh, this wall of mountains here. If you can see that point in the distance, we're going to hike towards that. And we're actually going to get over the paintbrush divide is actually on the left side of that. So, so this is 7.4 miles from the String Lake Trailhead. Uh, we're above Holly Lake. What are we at? 97, 9,721 feet. So we've come up uh, over 3,000 feet. So. This is our first sneak peek at the Grand Teton. It's over, uh, over uh, the divide, but we're still in paintbrush, but you can see it. I'm gonna pan over here. This right here is paintbrush divide. So we're gonna go up here and hopefully the snow fields aren't too bad. We do have ice axes and ice cleats, but uh, that's where we're headed, right over that saddle. Uh, that's where we're gonna hopefully have lunch very soon. So here we go. Got some more snow fields here. What we're gonna do is, there's some switchbacks along these rocks and snow fields. And then we're gonna try to stay right of this snow field. Get up this way and so we don't have to use our crampons or ice cleats 
up there. That's a little sketch, but that's where we're headed. Ice cleats, ice axe, hopefully no slippage. Great views in the background. Sweet, three more steps. So, how are we doing so far through two ice fields? I am a huge fan of ice cleats and ice axes today. Yes. So, yeah. Walking the scree trail. Got some nice blue glacial deposits beneath us with some glacial flower. I just love this freaking canyon. Yeah, you want to go like, yeah. correct. Yeah, baby. Piece of Doing cake, it. huh? Heck yeah. Two seasoned backcountry houses like this. Whatever. <laughs> the Grand Teton is actually behind this peak. We're going to hike over here and then we're going to go down the North Fork of Cascade Canyon. And we're going to have great views of the Grand, hopefully. <laughs> But uh, we're at the top of Paintbrush Divide. We hiked up about eight and a half, nine miles from down there, String Lake Trailhead. Fantastic. It's getting a little windy up here. So we left the divide. It's kind of windy up top, so we're not gonna have lunch here. We're gonna actually try to drop down uh, the North Fork of Cascade, see if we can't get out of the wind a little bit, maybe have a view of Lake Solitude and the Tetons. Uh, it's the one part of this loop trail we haven't done, so we're kind of excited to see it. Sorry for the wind, but this is the first peak of the Grand coming over the backside of Paintbrush. Looking down into the North Fork of Cascade Canyon. The Grand on the left. We're gonna hike, before we go there, we're gonna hike down to Lake Solitude and then all the way down this way, we get to the Grand Hangout left out Cascade Canyon. back towards the divide kind of neat looking that way man I'd love a cabin down there huh oh sweet the Grand Teton from the top of the North Fork of Cascade Canyon uh, all right so we've been making our way down from paintbrush divide we got a trail that runs down here. We've got to get over to Lake Solitude and then we're gonna hike out this canyon, get to the Grand and hang a left uh, down to the trailhead. But it's probably about another 10 miles. back towards Lake Solitude. Just fantastic views of Lake Solitude. And then for the next couple of miles, we're hiking down this path towards the te towards the Grand, which is just awesome. These views are unmatched.
So we've made it to the junction of the Cascade Canyon Trail. Let's say we got 6.2 miles out to the trailhead. We've gone 14.1. Uh, so it looks like our trek is gonna probably be a little over 20 miles Unless we don't make it then it'll be shorter Might be our one last look at the Tetons, the Grand anyways, in our rear view mirror as we head back to the vehicle. We just saw a really big black bear that pretty much scared the crap out of us. It was only about 40 or 50 yards off the trail. One of the bigger ones I've ever seen, but good news is we're probably a half mile or so from the trailhead so should be good so we just finished um, a PR a PR for us today a loop the longest loop trail that we've ever done all the way um, up paintbrush Canyon up to the divide summit to the divide over the backside down to uh, Lake Solitude all the way through the north fork of Cascade Canyon and then uh, down the entirety of um, Cascade Canyon for a total of 20 miles, I believe. 20.6 miles. This is by far my favorite hike of all time. Light beers for the fellas. <laughs> you won't drink anything tonight. Good Lord. <laughs> We're outie. Jackson Hole, Wyoming. Have a great day.